Good evening, everyone. There's been a lot of questions about um, pixel searches. So that's what we're going to do tonight. Without further ado, I've went ahead and created a new script inside uh, AutoWit. Pure pixel searching examples. Um, let's go ahead and just do addictinggames.com. What is that? No, no, mm -mm, no. Um, fairly simple game, simple game, sim, 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 Watcher's Chamber, no. This is a horrible example. All right, let me pause it and I'll go find something for us. How do you pause record? There we go. Atari Arcade. You can go www.atari.com. Missile Commander. There we go. Let's, uh, do single player, let this thing load up. Okay, fine. So I'll switch over to Internet Explorer. Fine. There we go. Let's do a basic image search or a pixel search. Um, right up here, you could get caught along that dialog box. Also, the cities down below here, and every time one of the, the little turrets is looking up. So we want to be higher than that turret right there. So right about there. Let's go ahead and grab the top left-hand corner, which is right there. Boop. Grab our script. And we're going to find, define it. Left, left is negative 1470. By the way, the reason it's negative 1470 is because I've got two screens. My left screen is on my left side, so it's negative from zero screen, or screen one. Top, and that's going to be 298. Bottom right, so right about there. Bottom, 704. Right equals negative 4. 53. So, with these two points, these four parameters, we have defined an XY coordinate on the top left and on the bottom right. So that's the only area that we're going to be searching for. Next, we have to get that color. So let's go ahead and play again. We're looking for one of those missiles coming in. There we go. That's right. Uh, let's just do a snip. Gonna grab that, and we're gonna be doing a, a pixel search, not an image search. So let's try and pick the lightest color that we can get. Ooh, that might be a little bit hard, just because the background and the missiles look like they're using the same palette. Ah, oh, let's see here. That one right no, that won't work. That light brown right there, the the shine of the missile. Can you see that? Come on, get on it. There we go. That's going to be our color. And that's going to be B3AD8E. So, back over here to our example. And the color we're searching for is 0 X B 3 A D 8 E and that color can be found right here where I stopped moving now simple loop oh uh, actually I, we need an escape so hot key set and what this does this defines a key that we can press to call a function Mine is always F1, just because that's the way I roll. Actually, that's the way I learned, so. Yours might be a little bit different. And we're going to call the function my exit. Then we have to define what my exit is. Function my exit exit and func. Just like that. Now, while one, this is an infinite loop. We are going to call a pixel search. Make sure we do the W end there at the bottom. That way we don't loop out our syntax there. Now, um, what pixel search is? Pixel search is a call. It's an API call to look in a specific area for a specific pixel. So if it finds it, it's going to return us a XY coordinate. That XY coordinate was the place where it found that color that we specified. So let's go ahead and define a variable called PIX equals P 
pixel search, and this is the call that we're making. By the way, this is an API call. You just don't know it. Oops. Pixel search. And then here comes our variables. Oh, it's not popping up over there. Anyways. You come over here. Maybe if I get you over here. Right there. There it is. So the first one's going to be the top left, which we've already got to find. Left. The top, which is top. The right, which we defined as what happened. What happened? What? Stop it. Okay. So, cut, remake. <laughs> we're going to define left. Or, or no, we're going to call the variables that we defined. Left, top, right, bottom. Now you see why I named them the way I did. The color that we're looking for, color, and a shade variant. I'm going to give it one because I don't want it to vary at very much off by the original color. So um, if pixel search gets called and it does not find the color that we have, it returns an at error which we could look at and say, hey, what is the actual error? We don't care what the actual error is. We just know that it didn't work. So if not at error, so what this says is if error is not true, meaning that we found something, so we got a return of true, and pixels will be an XY coordinate, then we're going to do something, but only if we found it. And if. So we'll just end it if we didn't find anything. If we found it, we are going to go ahead and mouse, whoops, mouse click at the XY coordinates. And the way we get those is pixels, uh, pix is now defined as a variable. So zero and pix one. We're going to do it for one click, one time. And I missed a variable there. Did you see that? Because I'm not used to... I usually make a function for this. Left. Like that. So, very simple bot. We have to move this out of the way. Oh. <laughs> Almost forgot something. How's it going to know which window we want to click on? Alright. So, up here at the top, we're going to do win, activate. And then we have to define what it is. Do, 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 do. Yeah, grab your little finder tool, pull it up to the title of whatever window you're on, and this summary, the title is Atari Arcade dash blah blah blah. If you're using a different game, it's going to be different. Atari Arcade. Just like that. And save. And F5. Uh -oh. F5. Uh-oh. Okay, see we had an error down here. Function my exit, and that's because I forgot the parentheses. Save it. F5. There we go. So it's not finding it, otherwise my mouse would be going crazy and clicking everywhere. Play. Ooh. See those clouds? Yep. Yeah. The clouds are that same color, that's why it's clicking all over the place. I don't really mind that much because it's still, it's hitting the, the target. Don't let that missile in. Don't let that missile in. Don't let that, mi what are you doing? Urgh. Oh, I remember. Okay, so F1, we're going to kill that. Okay, so when you're doing a pixel search, the order of these values is the order that it will search in. So if the top left is the least amount of values and the bottom right is the least amount of values, there's the top left is the least amount of values, the bottom right is the greater values, it's going to scan like this. One, two, three, four, five, like that. 
all the way down the screen. So if you define the x as the larger value and the y as a lower value, then x2 as the lower value and y2 as the higher value, it's going to scan like this in a reverse order. And you can do the same thing for verticals and horizontals. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch the left top and the bottom right. So the left top is going to be defined as down here, and the bottom right is going to be defined as up here. So our scan is going to go backwards. It's going to grab the lowest values going up and hit them. I hope that makes sense. Uh, come here to line 14. Grab this. We're just going to cut. Go to the front and paste. So now those two points are switched. Save that. Control S. F5. And away she goes. But I've got no turns, so it doesn't matter anyway. All right. Just let it die for a second. 10, 9, continue. Looks like it's going to be hitting that cloud first. So what we might do is bring our bottom search up so it's just above that cloud. Come on, come on, come on. Ooh, we got really close. You see that? Yep, yep, okay. Two. So we need to be above this cloud right here. So we're just going to be searching this little bitty area at the top. I hope that's going to be okay. And that's because the cloud colors at the bottom are the same cloud or same color as our missile. So let's grab that first point again. Make it above the clouds here. Up a little bit more. There we go. And if we go to our mouse, negative 461. Negative 461. Oops, I got a double negative. Double negative. And 488. There we go. Save, and F5, and F5. Oh, I've got no turns. The mouse is moving, but... <laughs> Ooh, yuck, my filter went all crazy. So, while I'm waiting for the filter, minimize. Are you clicking on anything? You're not clicking on anything, okay. What are you doing? What is it doing? It's so crazy. This is going to be a horrible video on examples. All right, F1. Kill it. I don't think it's finding the correct pixels. Let's go ahead and grab that again. Let's look for a different pixel. Maybe since we're not having to worry about the city now, we can go for this really dark color, right? No, oh, come here, come here. Boop, right there. Let's grab that. And before we go too much further, let's fix that chroma key. There we go. That looks better. Better? Better. Okay. Whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing? Stop it. What is it doing? Stop it. Okay. Our new color that we're going to be searching for. 3, 8, 3, 7, 2, 9. Oh, sorry. Three eight three seven two nine. There we go. 
Save. F5. Come on, buddy. Do it. It's not doing it. Why is it not doing it? There was no errors. Okay, let's give it a variation of five. That means the shade can be off by five colors on the red, green, blue spectrum. Do it again. Continue. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Oh, oh. There we go. Now it's hitting, hitting the end, so. I hope if we get a fast missile, we'll be able to get the missiles out there in time. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Let's just watch. Missiles coming in. Come on. Level two. Oh, oh there's a bogey. Good. Good. Not bad. Oh, wait. What happened? Oh, I'm going to have to go look at the review. Okay. Because I'm impatient, because I'm starting to run out of time, I'm actually going to do something that I probably shouldn't do, but I'm going to anyway. And that is, come here, you. F1. I'm going to stop the script. So where we're mouse clicking at, I'm going to increase the click uh, on the X position, or no, on the Y position, by 20 pixels, because the explosion is about 20 pixels big. Uh, actually, it's about 50 pixels big, but I'll get to that in a second. We're going to do a left click here. Mm. Now, we know where the XY coordinates is of that missile that's coming down. We're going to increase the Y position by 20. Let's do it by 50. Plus 50. All right. And then... We're going to need three of these. So we're actually going to click three times. Click, click, click. Copy, paste, paste, paste. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I don't know if it's coming in from the left to the right, or the right to the left, or the top to the bottom. So we're just going to do um, in the middle at negative 50. Let's do 50. And positive 50. So if you remember, the PIX0 is the X coordinate. And what we've done is click in the middle of where that was, 50 to the left, 50 to the right, all of them being plus 50 down. Cross your fingers. F5. Play again. Should see three missiles taken off. Oh, that's awesome. We might even increase that just a little bit. <laughs> this might be a little messed up, but we might not even have to uh, search for pixels on this game. If we were to just click so fast across the, that line, just throwing missiles up, never do a pixel search. That's awesome, by the way. It's clicking too fast. It missed that missile. I can't believe that. Oh, the game's not picking up the middle click. It's clicking too fast. All right, so that's not going to work. I thought it would work. Go ahead and F1, close it. We'll let that die out. Um, hmm. How many clicks, how fast you want it? Let's increase this to three. No, the first one we want instantaneously. One. And the next two we'll set up to three. Save, F5. There we go. 
little bit better. All right. Time lapse here. Okay, if you didn't see what happened right there, the uh, missile came down and shot one of the turrets. And that's because there was a UFO flying across the screen. So, that would be something that we'd have to program for and, and look for. And we could probably go off that big red dot on the bottom of it. So whenever you saw the big red dot, you could probably do a pixel search inside there for the redness. And then click in front and behind those two points. Uh, that would catch the UFO. And you could do that on each loop. Now, there was something I wanted to try before I get off here. And that was just clicking across the screen from left to right as fast as I could. And I want to see if it'll work. So. All 
All right. So we need to win activate. Delete this. Delete this. We're not even going to pixel search anymore. This is going to be a for loop. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our X and our Y. All right, so. This is, this is a little bit more in-depth programming. So here's the top and here's the bottom. We want somewhere in between. So we're going to take the, um, the bottom minus the top and then minus that number from the bottom. So we should get like half the distance. Oh, no, no, no. Bottom minus top divided by 2. So we're going to say a new variable center equals equal, equals equals 488 oh here bottom minus top divided by 2 divided by 2 oh my goodness come on just get down there 2 um the other thing is order of operations this divide would happen first so we need to take this and put it in parentheses So bottom minus top divided by 2, put that whole thing in parentheses, because that only gives us the midway point in between those two points, and say bottom minus bottom minus top divided by 2. Yes. All right, so that gives us center. Every time we click on the Y position here, we want it to be on center. All right, for, uh, let's see, for x, x equals, mm, top, no, left, left, to, right, step, 50. So from left to right, step 50. Uh, let's do step 25. Basically, this says our starting number is going to be the left, our ending number is going to be the right, and we're going to step 25 in between. So it's going to count for us. We don't have to do any kind of math on that. I like it. And do, 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 do. next. Save. F5. Let's see if this actually works. It's going to be awesome. It's not working. It's not working. What happened? F1. Not F1 on that. I don't want help for Internet Explorer. Go away. Go away. Switch back over. What did I do? Pick zero. Oh. X. There we go. Save. F5. Go. Oh, we can only shoot one at a time. All right, how do I restart it? Restart it. <laughs> so we might slow that down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Mouse click, listen, increase that to five because it's going nuts. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cool. Twenty five is definitely like too small. So F one will end that. We're going to increase this to a hundred. I hope this works.
it still leaves gaps in there. Oh, okay, I see a little red bar down there at the bottom. Do you see that? Here. Down here. It's like a cool down. Every time you click, it throws. Yeah. So, that won't work. You can't just click like crazy. Hmm. Maybe we could do something else. We will do step 100 and then do another for loop. Copy. Let's do step 250. And then we're going to do, no, let's do step 300. Then we're going to do another loop, but we're going to start the X on three or 150, which would be in between. So plus 150. Um, kind of give you a breakdown of what I'm doing. I'm going to go across the screen one time, and then I'm going to increase each one of those pixels by 150 and go across the screen again. That way we're using all three tur turns, um, and we're trying to cover, like we're trying to interlace the missiles. There we go. It'd be nice if I could click on something. All right, stop it. Stop, 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 stop. And we can, inc like, we can decrease this back down to one because we know why the that wasn't working. All right, switch over. Play again. F5, go. Too much. All right, F1, switch back. So if it steps to the left, 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 okay. Center plus 100. So we can see where the, oh wow, it's like going really fast. Come on, missiles, do it. They're all in the same place, though. See that sine wave that was going on? All right, F1. <laughs> uh, do we have... That's the only thing slowing us down. Let's increase this to two. Increase this to two. And... Let's see, I did see a sine wave, so it is zigzag patterned. Let's do 50. Uh. I don't know if it's going to be a wide enough spread. Might not get it. It's still increasing way too fast. Yep, everything overheated. F1, switch back over. All right, let's increase these to fives. To fives. We're going to take out the 50. We're going to save it. We're going to do that. Oh, goodness. It's getting a little bit late. Missed the missiles completely. Are you kidding me? 
Ah, we're done. Okay. So that was basics of um, how to do a pixel search, where the pixel search is, what it's going to return, and how to use it in um, spatial race relation to XY coordinates and what it's actually doing. So I hope this has been a learning experience for everyone, and good night.